Hello everyone, Matteo here. Welcome back in my RC garage. Thanks for watching. I am here building the new DC1 from MST. The gearbox and transfer case are already finished and the next step is to build the chassis frame. The parts for step 3 are in bags 4 and 14. Here are all the parts to build the chassis frame. First I screw all the parts to the chassis rail on one side. This is the front cross member. Next the gearbox with motor. The next screw also holds the damper stay. And a second screw of the damper stay holds with a lock nut. This is the skid plate together with the rock slider mount. This is the battery compartment. And the rear cross member. Again, the second screw holds the rear damper stay. And a nut for this screw. As you can see, all the parts are installed on one chassis rail. Now I'm going to install the second rail and add all the screws and parts on the same way. This is already done and you can see the finished chassis frame. The next step is the installation of the transfer case with the small drive shaft. For this I have here this upgraded steel drive shaft. A small installation manual is also included. First I add the small metal ring halfway through. Then I install the shaft on the gearbox and insert the pin. Next, bring back the metal ring on the proper position. Now I can install the transfer case. Insert the pin. And screw it on from below. And transfer case and drive shafts is installed. Step 4 is to build the links and the parts are in back 5. The length of each link is well shown in the instructions. And each link must be built twice. First I screw in the socket bolt into the ball connector. I screw it in about halfway. Now I can screw the connectors to the aluminum links on both sides and set the heads parallel to the other. Here I insert the ball into the connector. I use a little bit dry lubricant to reduce friction on these parts. The first link is finished. As you can see I have already finished all the links on the same way. And the next step is the installation of the upper links on the chassis. These are fastened with a screw and a nut. Be careful not over tighten the nut, so as not to damage the plastic ball head. Step 5 is to attach the lower links. Here you can see all links are installed on the chassis. At this point I'm going to install one more tuning part. It's the steel skid plate. I use two washers on the screw to even out the spacing. So I can install the skid plate. And 
finally I reinstalled the screws. And the steel skid plate really looks good. The next step 5 is the assembly of the dampers. The parts are in back 6 and in the tool bag. First is the build of the pistons and cylinders. Here I build the piston with Eclipse. It is always a bit dangerous that these clips flip away. Now I'm going to prepare the cylinders. These black washers are included but the instructions don't say anything about it where to use them. So I decided to put them between the rubber o-rings to make the shock a little bit tighter. I do not tighten the cap completely. First I insert the piston. Then I tighten the lower cap completely. The spring adjuster needs an O-ring. Then I can screw it on the damper cylinder. When screwing the rod end into the cylinder it's important to place a towel on the pliers to protect the piston rod. The correct length is shown in the manual. And here again the valve connector have to be completed. The next step is to fill the dampers with oil and add the spring. First I add the o-ring to the top cap and add a ball connector. Now I can fill in the oil about half and move the piston slowly up and down to remove air bubbles. Then I move the piston to the upper position and there should be no more oil up there. In this condition I can close the upper cap. If there is too much oil in the cylinder, the damper piston cannot move completely. Now I can install the spring and the damper is finished. Here you can see all four dampers are ready. That's it for the moment. Next up we'll be building the axles. Stay tuned to see this in one of my next videos. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please give me a thumbs up for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.